Hi, my name is Matt Pierce. I'm a software engineer, and today we're going to talk about how to determine if your wireless card in your HP laptop is dead or not. Now, the, the wireless card has two parts. It's got a transmitter and a receiver. And so you could have, uh, maybe the transmitter goes out, but the receiver is fine, and things will look fine, but you need both parts to be able to uh, connect with a network and have communications with it. So one of the things um, on your laptop, as you'll notice down here, I've got these bars right here, and those show me that my laptop is online, you know, the, the wireless card is online. Now I'll disable my wireless card by turning it off, and you see this dialog comes up, and it shows the connection's not there. Now, if your wireless card is dead, you, when you go to re-enable it, you may have to do the you know, function, you know, F key, and, and uh, the FN key and some function to get it to, to re-enable, or you may just have to push the button on, on your laptop. It really depends upon the laptop. It should come back up, and you see my bars are back there again, showing me that I've got networks available. And the bars there like this also show, since there's no uh, warning sign or anything there, that I'm connected back up on the network. Um, so what you can do is when you turn it back on, if those bars don't come up, like right there, you see right there, it went away and came back. But if those bars don't come up, that's when you suspect something's wrong with your wireless card. Um, if they do come up, you should just click on it, and you should see a bunch of networks, at least your network there, available. Um, you can see there I'm connected to my PNET too. Um, if you have a problem with your wireless card you, the, on the receiver end, you won't see any networks there at all. So you have a problem with that. Um, but you could also see networks there that, that try to connect with them and not be able to connect for some reason. It'll give you a, an error. And that's where you would suspect that the, that the uh, transmitter is bad. So what you can do then um, is kind of go through a, a diagnostics um, application that will pop up. When it tries to connect to the network and it can't, it'll pop up a dialog box that will allow you to do some networking diagnostics. Take, go through that. Click on that and take every option that it gives you to go, th try, to go through and try and determine what's wrong with the network card. And it may come up to the end and it's like it can't resolve the problem. At that point, um, that's where you would want to, uh, you would suspect that your, your wireless network card is bad. And what you can do is you can go out and get a, an external card like this one. This is a Cisco card. And you can install that, or you can get a, a USB wireless uh, connector that will connect up in a, through a USB port and see if those work. Just follow the instructions that came with it and, and install them on your system and see if the network will come up and you can connect through one of those devices. And also, if you have another machine that is not having problems with the network, you can swap you know, connectors with it and see like, like if you have an external uh, connector card like this in the machine that's not working, take it and put it in a machine that is working, that does have a network connection and see if it works there so you can eliminate. It could be that you have a bad card here. Um, so that's basically how you can do it. And finally, what you can do <clears throat> is go into your control panel. I like to go to computer, right click on that, go to properties, then go over here to device manager and when the list comes up, you're going to find your network um, adapter. Since I've got a bunch of them right here. But you find your network adapter. And what you can do is right click on that and say uninstall. And before you do that, make sure you happen to have the software, the, the driver to reinstall. But you want to uninstall it and reinstall it. And see if you know, maybe there was something corrupt on your hard drive that was preventing it from coming up and try to get it to work that way. But if it won't work that way, you can't get it to connect by enabling it and disabling it. And if it's an external card that you can take out or external device and plug it into another machine that still doesn't work, that's when you're, you're pretty sure that the card or the device, whatever it is, is dead. My name is Matt Pierce. Thanks for watching.